Joining us now to talk about something brand new and very exciting is Dr. Michael Alon, the editor-in-chief of Kidney360, and as I mentioned, brand new online journal and the first issue coming out January of 2020. That's correct. What is this exactly? So this, this will be a nephrology journal. Currently, uh, ASN has two nephrology journals. One is Jason and one is C. Jason, and this will be the third uh, ASN journal. Uh, it will be different from uh, Jason and C. Jason because it will be strictly online and it will be an uh, open access journal. And right now, is Kidney360 accepting manuscript submissions for publication? We are. Uh, our uh, submission website went live October 1st. And I'm pleased to say that just in the first month, we've already received 40 submissions. Incredible. Uh, how long does the review process take? And specifically, what are you looking for in these submissions? So we are looking for a broad range of submissions. We will take uh, both uh, clinical science submissions as well as ones in basic science. Uh, we uh, have an outstanding group of associate editors which will help with the review process. And our goal is to have both timely reviews and professional and uh, high quality reviews. If you submit a manuscript to Kidney360, uh, we will make an initial decision uh, within one week whether uh, we are going to continue to review it and send it for external review. If we don't send it for external review, you would uh, receive that decision within one week. If rapid it, review process. Yes. <laughs> if it goes out for external review, which would typically be three uh, experts in the field, uh, then our goal would be that in most cases we would make the initial decision about the suitability of that manuscript within one month of the submission. Uh, moving on to the patient perspective section. This is a, a really novel idea. Can you elaborate on a little bit more and what can people expect in that section? Yes. So there's been growing recognition in the medical field within the last few years that patients have very different perspectives about their health care compared to their physicians and other health care uh, providers. Uh, and in fact, sometimes the priorities of the physicians can be very, very different from the priorities of the patients. And we think it's important to recognize those differences in the priorities, to publicize them, to make them available for the physicians and dialysis nurses and uh, nephrology nurses, but also to make that information readily available to patients, patient families, uh, patient support systems. And I think this will be facilitated because we're open access, which means that none of these individuals will require a subscription. Anyone can log online and read any content uh, without restrictions for Kidney360. So I think this will be a wonderful opportunity uh, for patients to actually publish their perspectives on their care, to share with physicians, and also for other patients and patients' families uh, to actually uh, learn about uh, those issues. Another section that will be included in Kidney360, a global communications section. What areas do you anticipate highlighting in this specific section? Right. So what we would be highlighting is differences in uh, processes of patient care and also differences in how healthcare is funded for kidney disease between countries. We in the U.S. are very U.S.-centric, and we just assume that the way that, for example, dialysis is practiced or uh, kidney disease or uh, transplant is practiced, that the way we do it in the U.S. is the way it's done everywhere. The reality is that there's tremendous differences. So my idea is that we would have a series of papers by uh, nephrologists at these different countries describing how they actually manage patients with kidney disease. Nephrologists do report very high job satisfaction rates. However, uh, attracting and retaining nephrologists seems to still be a little bit of a struggle. Why do you think that is? We don't understand the exact reason, but we think that we need to do a better job of getting people excited about taking care of, I mean, and we're talking either nephrologists who are actually providing direct patient care or scientists who are doing research related to some aspect of kidney disease. Uh, we feel that we need to do a better job of transmitting this knowledge, transmitting the excitement. Uh, we want to have papers, we want to have podcasts, we want to have debates. 
Um, and again, because this is open access, then all of these individuals would not have to worry about having to pay to access any of this content. And we're hoping that in a small way that we will help to excite some potential uh, individuals in the medical field or scientific field uh, to uh, want to uh, enter the field of nephrology or kidney research. And be looking for that first issue in January of 2020. Yes. All right, Dr. Michael Allen, congratulations and thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you.